This is the story of a man named Stanley. Hey, Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him <laughs> through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Sounds like a This us is what employee 427 games. did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul renting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Good for you, Stanley. I'm glad you're happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Uh -oh. Something that would forever change Stanley. A girlfriend? Something he would never quite forget. Definitely a girlfriend. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. Sounds like a running as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Dun dun dun! Oh wow. Oh, I wanted to see if that was the right time. Oh, hell no! Is that the right time? No, that's not the right time. Okay. Hmm. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So I've left the room. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No Why? matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. I feel like I'm a little big plant with that narrator. Oh, man. Did I come in on a Sunday? Hello? Anybody home? No, it looks like no. Oh, there's some papers here on the table. Oh man, did I miss the rapture? Uh, it's all white outside. Maybe I'm at the restaurant at the end of the universe. Be my val. Aww. See, they got a girlfriend. Looks like they're also packing up to leave. What is with the papers everything everywhere? Oh man. I hate Mondays. <laughs> it's a happy look. It's a happy face. All right, serious face. Serious face. Serious face. Serious face. All right. Um. All right, down the hallway. I gotta figure out what's going on. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What happens if I go right? But I go this right. was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, can I go in? Can I go in a door? Me? No, okay. Man, look at that old, this old stuff. Alright, so I need to go to the employee lounge to admire it. Yes, ah, it's... Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Yes, yes, absolutely. More papers everywhere and holy crap, that's expensive for a can of soda. Ridiculous! Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. <laughs> a room so utterly captivating. <laughs> <laughs> Even though all your co have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Oh, really that's awesome! <laughs> oh, I shouldn't but giggle like that. To get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. All right, first open door on the left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. 
I wonder how much I can. All right, I'm sorry. I know that I should be playing, listen, probably listening to the narrator and following his directions, but I'm really enjoying the fact that uh, <laughs> I can derail and go wherever I want. Let's see what happens now. What's the narrator gonna say to this? Loading, 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 ride. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further <laughs> off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go on... <laughs> yes! And here it's, um, left. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh my gosh. Yes. Uh, nope, we're going to go right. Screw you, narrator. Go back to playing Little Big Planet. No, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's to the right, my mistake. Asshole. <laughs> no, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? <laughs> now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left... Right. Oh my goodness. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely definitely this way. Oh good. Good. Excellent. That's that's bright. Okay. Even more into the creepy hallway. No, Holy no, shit! No, 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 no! This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Oh Quick, shit! Quick, Stanley, shit. close your eyes. All right, all right, all right. Okay, 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 floor, okay, okay. Floor, we floor. just, we just have to get back to um. Oh, who am all I right. kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. All right, not looking, not looking, not oh, looking. But rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this <laughs> time, suppose we don't wander so far off track. Hmm? Okay, from the top. <laughs> oh, oh, bravo, bravo, this is amazing, all right, you know what, I'm going to cut it off right here, this is IGMTM, I decided to kick off trying to play the game, uh, the Stanley Parable, you guys have a good one, we'll start off at the beginning again, next episode.